Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Good morning. I purchased a Samsung F90 not long ago, and it doesn't have a uh, a remote control, and I really want one for this camera. It has a, an interesting feature. It has a pause button, so when you press the pause button and then start it again, it doesn't make a new uh, file. So you can pause and start as many times as you want, and it'll only make one file so if you upload to YouTube you won't have uh, individual files for each time you started and stopped the recording if you use the pause button but since it doesn't have a remote control switch you have to walk over to the camera and press the pause button to start to stop it and I thought it'd be neat if it had a remote control it doesn't have one so here's how I made one I went to uh, Amazon and I bought an old-fashioned bulb uh, control a bulb switch for the shutter release they used to use on cameras many many mango seasons ago <laughs> uh, a lot of people have probably never seen one of these before it's just a little bulb and has a uh, uh, switch that presses a little uh, uh, needle that comes out when, when you press it uh, the bulb so I bought one for about eleven dollars on Amazon and then I started experimenting to see how I could fit it to the camera so I did some measurements with some cardboard to make a template and I measured off about six inches by about three inches by six and five eighths for the top piece it was the cardboard and then I went to my uh, wood pile and a box in my apartment <laughs> and I found some one eighth inch ply facing to use for the top and quarter inch plywood for the other parts and I put the plywood on top and then I made a little uh, 45 degree angle with the plywood to, to make a spacer to, to lock in the uh, camera and then I took some neoprene the neoprene is important because it, it allows the wood to uh, and plastic to, to uh, touch it and not slide around if you don't have neoprene you can go to the dollar store and get some sponges but I had neoprene, so that's what I used. It comes in really handy. Um, and then I just started making little spacers to see where I could best fit to make sure the camera wouldn't move. And once I was happy with where I had the spacers, I started looking into where I was going to put the, the bulb control so it would line up with the button. And once I got the, the, the bulb control right to where I wanted it, I put some more neoprene down. I put two pieces, and then I was sort of making this up as I went along. I wasn't sure how I was going to make this, so I was going to use first. I was going to use uh, zip ties to to attach it, and then I, I decided I better use something else because the ones I had were too small. So I got out my stainless steel wire, and I wired the little uh, bulb control onto the piece of plywood, the p one eighth panel. And it's kind of ugly and unsightly, so I put some tape over the top. Um, if I had to do over again, I would have went to the store and got some larger zip ties or had a more sophisticated way to attach the bulb control. And once it was locked in, um, I made sure that it was fitting on the button correctly. And it worked out pretty good. This is what it looks like, the final configuration. Uh, I have a little piece of wood underneath the bulb control stem to, to align it up properly. And the wires have it attached securely. And that's about all there is to, to say about the design. It, it works really well. It fits on the camera pretty snug. And I'm pretty happy with it. I can start and stop uh, the pause button on my camera now over 20 feet away. And this will work on other buttons on your camera, so it's not just for the Samsung. You can use the same type of an idea. So if you guys need a remote control for your camera, a manual one, if you, you can't fit an electronic one, you could go to the Amazon. I'll put a link down below and get you one of these uh, old-fashioned uh, air uh, a bulb uh, shutter release uh, controls. Hope this little tip helps you guys. I make new videos every week. And I've got a whole bunch of videos on 
low cost inexpensive uh, things you can make with your uh, video uh, cameras and and your filmmaking uh, thanks again everybody uh, like I said I have new videos every week